Hey guys! So today I am doing a Jungmin from Boyfriend inspired look from their new music video, Bounce. I really, really fell in love with the look as well as the music video and I really wanted to recreate this look. I thought it was very um, interesting, very new with the rhinestone eyebrows. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy this fun, kind of vampy um, look from their music video Bounce and on with the tutorial. Okay, so I already started by priming my lid, which ensures your eyeshadow to stay on all day long. Um, I just applied it on my lid, all the way up to my eyebrow, and um, where my eyebrow would be, and underneath as well. And now I'm going to take a creamy black pencil to kind of add a dark base onto just my lid. Um, I'm using the uh, Love and Beauty by Forever 21 shadow pencil in black. I think, I don't know, it's worn off, so... Just any really creamy black base. I'm just gonna blend it with my finger. For my eyebrow, um, since I barely have any, I'm going to make an eyebrow. Uh, if you have normal eyebrows, or you know, however you do your eyebrows normally, go ahead and fill those in now. Um, I just wanted to recreate Jungmin's eyebrow, so I'm gonna do that. Just pull his eyebrow shape. So, I'm using a Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencil, and this is in taupe, I believe. No, mink brown, excuse me. And I'm just going to draw kind of a thick, straight eyebrow. So I have my eyebrow done, and now I'm going to start with the eyeshadow lid colors. So the first color I'm going to use is from the Wen Wild Petal Pusher palette, and it is this really pretty shimmery uh, purple, and it has like gold shimmer in it. It's really, really pretty. Um, I'm just going to actually take it on my ring finger and apply it on my lid over that black base. And then with a brick red color, I'm just going to use this Sally Girl eyeshadow in Brick House. I'm going to take a little bit on my finger again and just kind of add it into the center. Um, the center seemed to have a little bit more of a red tone to it, so just going to kind of apply it there. And for our highlight, we're going to go back in that Petal Pusher palette and use that really light purple, I mean not purple, pink color, almost white, but it's more of a matte, so, for a lash line, I'm going to take a purple pencil from um, NK, and it's um, Dark Orchid. And I'm just going to take this pencil and add a little bit on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to smoke it out with that, um, the first color that we used, that purpley, ready, golden color. Alright, so now I'm going to apply a liner and I'm just going to use the NYC Big, bold, and precise liner in, I think it's just black. Yeah, I think it's just black. Extra black, sorry. And I'm just going to do a straight wing. And then line my waterline with the Fergie Wet n Wild with a little black dress liner. And for lashes, I'm using the Voluminous Miss Mangalash in Blackest Black. 
Now this next part is completely optional. You can leave your brows as is, but if you want to um, do Jungmin's specific look, I'm going to be adding uh, three rhinestones onto my eyebrow that I created. Um, if you want to add more, because I know he had more than just the three, um, but I don't have any that are smaller, so I'm going to be using some glitter to kind of mimic the last uh, couple ones on the tail. So for the lips we want a really muted look but the center to be kind of I just bit somebody kind of look. So I'm taking just some concealer. Um, you can use your foundation or if you have like a really 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 nude um, lipstick you can use that. I just find the concealer is a little bit thicker and it just seems to work better. And I moisturized my lips before I did this so just letting you know. Then on the inner portion, I'm going to use the Wen Wow Mega Slicks, and this is in Lady and the Vamp. It's a really fun, darker um, purple color, and that is the end of the tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. Um, next I will be doing one more K-pop look and then I'm going to be jumping into my anime um, inspired makeup series so if you have any requests leave them below and I will definitely do them so yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to all of you later bye